So we wrestle with our motives forever. Another incredibly famous pastor that I really respect early on, I said, did you ever wrestle with the implications of the reward that we get because of writing books or, or being known? And he said, of course. He said, in fact, I quit. He said, I wrote my first book and I quit. And I went back to being just a professor at a seminary instead of writing and speaking publicly. And afterwards, my students would come up and praise me about what a great professor I was. And I realized I'm going to have to fight my motives anywhere I go. This is our lot. It doesn't matter if you're sitting there going, I'm a stay-at-home mom. I don't relate to that at all. I'm not about to write a book or ever will be known. You still have motives at play when you start to consider what God is calling you to do. Because whatever God is calling you to do, whatever He is calling you to do, there is always going to be in our flesh some selfish ambition for some thing. And for you, it might be different than for me. It probably will be. But you have to know yours. You have to know what you're tempted to love more than God. <laughs> 